creatine, is it safe? Should you be consuming it? And if so, how should you start? All these questions and more will be answered in this video. Creatine is the most widely used supplement. However, despite its popularity, it remains enveloped in myths and misconceptions. Today, we're gonna cover the benefits, downsides, potential side effects, and how to safely start using creatine. So first things first, what even is creatine? Creatine is a natural source of energy that helps allow your muscles to contract and produce energy during heavy lifting. Once creatine enters the body, it's converted to creatine phosphate and 95% of the supply is stored in your muscles. There are many factors that affect the natural level of creatine in the body, such as diet, body composition, and hormonal levels. Half of the body supply of natural creatine comes from diet, while the other half is naturally produced in the liver, kidneys, and pancreas. Then when the creatine is ready to be used, it's converted into ATP, which is essentially what our body uses to fuel everything. Creatine fuels the initial part of any high intensity movement, normally for less than 10 seconds. Once your creatine storage is depleted, if you continue to exercise, you'll switch to the other two energy systems your glycolytic and oxidative respectfully. However, right now, we're not gonna talk about those and only focus on creatine. Therefore, with creatine supplementation, we'll be able to prolong the effect of creatine fueling a workout, which in turn will improve performance, strength, and recovery. Now that we've gone over the super fun biological background of what creatine actually is, What's that shit say? Psych! let's go over some of the benefits to actually using it. According to the International Society of Sports Nutrition, creatine is beneficial for the following. It improves athletic performance, increases high intensity exercise capacity and lean body mass during training, improves muscular strength and boosts cognitive ability. Lastly, this was something that's new to me and it's being further researched. However, they're postulating that creatine supplementation during pregnancy may be beneficial for fetal growth, development and health. However, right now we're gonna focus on the weightlifting component. Jumping back to the athletic performance, a study tested explosive power and weightlifting strength finding that creatine helped improve explosive jumps and the number of repetitions for the bench press. So what's the takeaway so far? Creatine monohydrate is the most effective nutritional supplement currently available to athletes with the intent of increasing high intensity exercise capacity and lean body mass training. But with every good thing, unfortunately, there's some bad things that can occur. So next we're gonna discuss some potential side effects. However, before we do that, if you're enjoying the video so far, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more fitness videos and content just like this. Since creatine monohydrate has become a popular dietary supplement in the early 1990s, over 1,000 studies have been conducted and billions of servings of creatine have been ingested. And the crazy thing is there's only been one substantial side effect noted from all these studies. And that side effect that's been listed in the research again and again has been weight gain. But for people who grew up skinny and are trying to put on weight, this is actually another benefit. But ultimately, all the research has shown that creatine supplementation poses no adverse health risks and may provide numerous health and performance benefits. Creatine is extremely safe in just about every case when dosed appropriately. So now that we know the benefits and the potential side effects, which is basically nothing, let's talk about how to safely start taking creatine. Most creatine companies recommend doing a creatine loading phase. This refers to when you take 20 to 30 grams a day for three to four days, while the normal daily recommendation is five grams per day. Now this isn't 100% necessary, however, it allows you to reap the benefits of creatine a little bit faster. Regardless of whether you creatine load or take the normal daily recommendation of five grams per day, creatine can be a huge benefit in your weightlifting journey and it may be something you wanna consider. But the other thing I wanna mention is that it's essential you stay hydrated. Some people experience dehydration short term when you initially start creatine, so this is something to just keep in mind. If you are confused or curious about creatine, I really hope this video cleared that up and maybe you'll consider even starting it. But what you really need to do next is learn how to build muscle properly. So check out this video here where I go over the 10 best strategies to build muscle. And if you implement this with the creatine, it's gonna take your muscle growth to the next level. 